Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Debbie, and if you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that button down below and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. So today's look is this one right here. I kept it pretty simple just because I don't have much going on today, um, but I did add some lashes and some highlighter. So if you guys wanna see how I came up with this look right here, then just keep on watching. All right, so as you can see, I have absolutely nothing on my face. I don't even have my brows filled in, which is crazy because I usually try to have them done before I start, you know, filming and everything. But I figured I would do everything from brows to like everything, setting, everything. I mean like everything, 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 even cleaning up my brows. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Pomade. This is in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm gonna use my favorite tool and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe this is the number 12 brush. It rubbed off because I've literally had this one for so, so long. So I'm just gonna start filling them in. All right, so now that I'm done filling in my brows, I'm gonna go in with some concealer, and this one is just the Maybelline, what is this, Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this concealer to clean up the brows. I'm going in with this Wet n Wild brush right here, and I'm just gonna literally just clean up and shape the brow. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this BH Cosmetics brush. This is the number eight from the Marble Collection. And I'm just going to blend out all the concealer around the brow. Also what I'm gonna do is with the same concealer I used to clean the brows, I'm going to use on the lid. I'm just going to apply a little bit on there and I'm going to use the same brush from BH Cosmetics, the number eight. And I'm just going to blend that all over the eye. And I'm gonna use this as my eyeshadow base. As you guys already know, concealer is really good for an eyeshadow base. And now I'm just gonna grab my favorite. I'm gonna grab my Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. And I'm just gonna set the eyes, you know, the concealer, so we can go in with the shadow. I kinda wanna do something very simple today. Um, not do something crazy crazy. I think I'm gonna do something matte. So I'm gonna go in with the whatever palette from ColourPop. I really love this palette. It's super pretty. Like look at this beautiful color here. I like this shimmer. Ugh. It's pressed glitter actually. So I'm really excited to use that. Look at that. Hold on. Let me swatch it. I mean, look how pretty that friggin is. Isn't that pretty? Hopefully you guys can see it, but it's gorgeous. I am going to keep this look a little simple because I don't really want anything crazy today. And I'm gonna grab this brush right here. I'm just trying to get my hair off of it. Um, this is the Sigma Tapered Blending E40. And I'm gonna go in with Pink Slip, which is this color here. And I'm just going to run that on the crease and just in circle motion on the outer V as well and bring it in to the inner corner just like that and you can always go back and dip your brush right back into that shadow to apply more and intensify the color until you reach the intensity that you want. I like to start off with a little bit and then just build up 
So like I said, I'm not going to do anything crazy. So that's why this is a really good um, thing to do. Start off with a little bit and gradually um, apply more. Okay, so I think that's okay for now. Now I'm just going to do the other side. Just want to make sure that it's in focus for you guys because I know a second ago it wasn't. So I apologize. All right, so with the same palette, I'm going to go in with In Bold, right? Yeah, In Bold, which is this brown color right here. And the brush is the Morphe M506 brush. I always use this brush, you guys. It's just the perfect brush to get in there in the crease area and just in the outer V blending at the same time. It's very nice and fluffy. And I'm just using this to apply in the crease a little bit on the outer V, bring it onto the lower lash line, of course, just a tad bit. Define the crease a little bit. I think that's pretty much it, what I'm going to do today. I'm going to apply a little bit of this shade in here. It's called Copycat, which is this one here. It's like a peachy brown. And I'm just going to apply that right here on the inner part of the eye as well as on the center. Just like that. keeping it super matte. You can always go back in and add more. So I'm gonna go back in with In Bold with that Morphe M506. Just apply a little bit more. And there you go. I'm gonna go back in with that blending brush from Sigma and grab a little bit more of pink slip and just blend it out. And I think that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to apply some lashes and I'm gonna do something really, really like everyday kind of lash. So I'm gonna go in with the Ardell um, Wispies. These are the Demi Wispies, as you can see. And once I'm done, I'll come back and complete the rest of the makeup. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have my lashes on, and I feel like this is a very simple look, um, especially for today. I really don't have much going on. I just wanted to do my makeup and look presentable. So this is it. Now I'm just gonna go in with the face primer. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Pore Minimizing one right here. It's the purple one. And you guys, I love this one. I mean, I've not, I haven't tried all of the other ones, but I definitely want to because this one is amazing and it smells really good. Moving on to foundation, I'm gonna go in with this one right here. This one is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. I'm going to be grabbing my Real Technique sponge. It's a little, I need to damp it up a little bit more, so I'm just gonna spray it with the NYX Bear With Me. I did wet it before, but it needs to be a little bit more damp because it dried. So I'm just gonna be going in with this one. This one is the shade 475. And what number, what is this? The shade is Sun Beige. All right, so moving on to concealer, you guys. I'm going to be going in with this one. This one is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Concealer. It is lightweight, buildable coverage to conceal dark circles and imperfections. This one is in the shade C7. All 
All right, so I don't know if I applied too much, but I'm gonna blend it out with my Real Technique sponge. All right, so looking at the concealer, it looks really good. I mean, it's a little bright for what I was going for, but I mean, it definitely concealed and it blended out really nicely. I don't remember how I felt about it when I first used it, but right now it looks pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cream contour. I'm gonna go in with this right here. This is from Wet n Wild, the Photo Focus Stick Foundation in the shade Almond. And I'm just gonna use this right on here. And this is gonna help bring some color back into my face. Mm. Not spot, not bad. Um, I'm going to be using my, where are you? Real Techniques Contour Brush. And now I'm just gonna grab my Real Technique sponge and I'm just gonna use that to blend out all of the edges so it looks more natural. All right, so now I'm gonna set my under eye. I'm gonna grab the Real Technique sponge and I'm just gonna set underneath. All right, so now I'm gonna grab the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette and I'm going to be using this shade right here for bronzer and I'm taking my Kenzie brush right here and I'm just going to do that on the outer perimeter. All right, so from the same blush palette, I'm going to be grabbing this golden shade right here and I'm going to be using that as my highlight. And I'm just going to apply that right on the high points of the cheek. Just like that. I'm also going to apply a little bit on the tip of my nose and on the bridge, but mostly on the tip and the cupid's bow. So I'm gonna make sure that's right there. I love this. Just makes it look really nice, super, healthy and glowy and I love it. So I really love this palette. You guys, if you haven't tried it, definitely pick it up. I don't use this as often as I should because it's a really, really good palette, but just so you guys know, it's really good. <laughs> All right, so jumping back into the ColourPop palette, I'm going to grab the brush that looks like this from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to be grabbing Pink Slip and running that on the lower lash line. I'm gonna be taking this little Morphe M321 brush, grabbing a little bit more of Pink Slip and running that on the lower lash line just to intensify it and smudge it. Just like that. I'm also going to be grabbing the same brush that I used a second ago to line the lower lash line. And I'm gonna grab in bold just a little bit and just creating a little bit of a wing on the outer part of the eye. If that's possible. <laughs> Didn't really come out as good as I wanted it to. But there you go, something like that. Hopefully yours comes out way better than mine, but that's what I have going on. You don't have to do this, but it just elongates the eye a little bit and it adds a little something something. There you go. I'm okay with that. Um, and yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of line, like um, some eyeliner. So I'm gonna grab this right here. This is the Giorgio Armani 
waterproof smooth silk eye pencil and I'm just gonna apply this on the rim of the eye this is gonna help fill in like any gaps between the lashes and everything and it's gonna make it look less sparse All right, so it also makes it look a little bit more fuller, if that makes any sense, you know? Um, I'm also going to be going in with some mascara for the lower lashes. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous. And since I want to make this look more natural than on the, like, darker side, I'm going to grab this liner from Rimmel, and the shade is called In the Nude, and I'm just going to apply that on the waterline. Alright, so now for lips, you guys, I'm going to go in with this one right here. This is Jordana in the shade Natural. And now I'm just going to grab this lipstick from Essence and I'm just going to dab a little bit all over. There you go. And for lip gloss, I'm going to go in with this one from e.l.f. This is a limp plumping gloss. And you guys, honestly, this one right here does give me, that does give me, does give me like a cooling, tingling and... You know when your lips are chapped and you apply chapstick on them and you feel that burn? That's what this feels like. But strangely, like I kind of like it, but I don't like it. I don't really think it does plump the lips up like at all, but I don't know. I'm still using it. I like the glossiness to the lips and it's not super sticky which is nice but it's a good gloss I mean just you got to get past the tingling burning kind of feeling when you apply it so that is pretty much it I feel like this is really simple I just feel like this side is kind of bothering me a little bit okay so now I'm just gonna spray my face and that is that I'm gonna go in with the NYX bear with me spray all right guys so this is the final look right here hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, I definitely feel like this is a really good everyday look you can definitely omit the lashes you can omit the highlighter and just keep your natural lashes, apply some mascara, and call it a day. But also, I definitely feel like you can just bump up the look and make this look super glam by keeping the um, highlighter and adding maybe a liquid liner. And this is a really nice, simple glam as well. So however it is that you want to do it, by all means do it and have fun and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a big thumbs up also please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't yet and i will see you guys on the next one bye